ChatGPT from OpenAI is the gold standard as far as large language model AI assistants are concerned. But did you know that it comes in two different versions? The free version that almost everybody uses is based on a model called GPT 3.5. It lacks the ability to do things like use Dolly to generate generative AI images or even to use their plugin store. There are a number of different ways you can benchmark these models against each other, but as you can see from this leaderboard, GPT-4 outperforms GPT-3.5 by a pretty wide margin on every conceivable task. This means that for tasks like writing, programming, even creating art, GPT-4 is significantly better than GPT-3.5. And this is why you have to pay a premium in order to use it. But there happens to be a way where you can use GPT-4 for free. In fact, there are three ways. The first is going over to copilot.microsoft.com. Microsoft and OpenAI have teamed up. In fact, OpenAI uses Microsoft's data centers in order to train their GPT models. And as a result, Copilot from Microsoft actually has access to the same underlying model that's used for ChatGPT+. Now, on top of that, if you have an iOS or an Android device, you can go to the App Store and download an app so you can run it natively on your phone as well. And even one step cooler than that, if you have a Windows PC that's running the latest version of Windows 11, you've even got Copilot built in right here on the right hand rail. Now this isn't using the exact same model as ChatGPT+. Microsoft has fine tuned the underlying GPT-4 model. But it still has that amazing performance you've come to expect, but this is available to everyone for free. It also has the ability to run plugins. If you're on the web version, you can go up to the plugins tab this doesn't have access to the same vast variety of plugins that you have from ChatGPT, but it does still give you the ability to do things like get your groceries from Instacart, book something through Kayak, shop on Klarna, reserve tables on OpenTable, do some shopping, even generate music with Suno AI, which I've done an entire video on. This also has access to Dolly 3. So you can say, create a photo of a clown jumping over a dolphin, and you'll get back images just like you would if you were using a plus version of ChatGPT, and you can see right down here at the bottom, powered by Dolly 3. One of my favorite things to do and something you can't do in GPT-4 is make me a rap song about a YouTube channel called All Your Tech. This will actually connect to Suno AI. It's gonna generate lyrics, and then it'll also generate a song that you can listen to or download. This also has the ability to browse the web, so you can say, what are the top news stories about AI? Not only is it going to go out and find the latest news stories, it's going to summarize them and then come back with all of the different sources. So you can click on those and go dive deeper into each topic. There are even rumors that Microsoft's going to launch its own GPT store for custom GPTs, just like OpenAI did a few weeks ago. This might be a paid service, so at that point you've got to weigh the pros and cons of using the OpenAI version or the Microsoft version. One other benefit this does have going forward is that this is built into Office 365. So if you're doing Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, or Excel, this can help you out there as well. Either way, it's always nice to have options, and I've found in my own testing that this version of ChatGPT works really well. Check it out and let me know what you think down in the comments below. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech AI. We'll see you next time. Thanks. I'm the virtual prophet in the tech town, breaking down AI, wearing the crown, from basics to complex, never let you down, all your tech AI, earning the renown.